Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's Batman series. Before we jump back into it, just a quick reminder, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, okay? All right, let's jump in and see where the Dark Knight takes us this time. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while, she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Yeah. Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion, and neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you, but the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your other job could become. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. We'll figure that out, eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Harvey, how about we just agree to go our separate ways, all right? You think you can just walk away from me? Just like that after everything you've done? can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. It's more than I would have done. I don't think I would have bothered to answer the phone at all. What's going on here? Well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Uh, Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. <sighs> of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I'm tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! home and if you don't get the hell out of my way I swear to God I will have this car run you over and then back up again just to make sure it did the job Bruce shut up Alfred I can handle this someone else heard that right this psycho just threatened me yeah I filmed the whole thing good times. they should lock you up oh god I... Alfred I'm sorry I don't you'll be fine we just need to get out of this mess. No one to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! 
All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded, hmm? And well armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! Back up! Back up, people! Bruce! Hey! Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of- Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. First off, we need to get this drug out of Bruce's system. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? Funny, I thought you could handle yourself. Oh, I can. I just also know when it's time to make myself scarce. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. I know what I figured would happen. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Yeah. Like I said, we need to get that crap out of our veins first. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. There's no may to Harvey it. It is. Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. You've been helping me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. Here's my DNA before the incident. It seems okay. that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. 
To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. But we don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Okay, I get it, I get it. I was trying to make this bottom piece line up to what that picture was, and that definitely was not working the way it should. Um, but okay, now I see that it's supposed to be this whole picture. That looks... Yeah, that looks right. Should do it. Well, that was fast. Like designing it that fast, okay, sure, but synthesizing it that it fast. To be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Only medicine Hopefully actually worked that fast. Trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Not really. The fence intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. Got it. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. I feel like this is a bad idea, but alright, sure. Batman walking around in daytime. I'm inside the Vale House. Unexpected. Also, I see he hasn't repaired his armor. Oh. Oh. Alfred? Vein discolorations. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. 
alert Gordon. I will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Ooh, they gouged their eyes out. Around the front of the couch, you moron. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes, but this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Let's put it politely. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. I see some of the uh, bad equipment is still messed up. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Interesting. Some hair. I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait, there's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown? Nothing I can see. Maybe? Clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? Actually, valid question. Is that link? It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Mr. Vale. Alive? No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. That can probably link to the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. And it's the same logo for the company. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. 
What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. That would Finally, take a she long dragged him time. to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Seems like it'd be the kid. Clear. Nothing here. I mean, it's not gonna be in the living room. Anything? No. Is that something underneath the stairs? A little Harry Potter cabinet? There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. Like I said, little Harry Potter cabinet. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. I will say, crouch down. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be all right. I'm sorry I scared you. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I. I heard someone say something. Something about drugs. Fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Get down. Ah! Smooth move, kid. Nice work, kid. <gasps> the, 
they're dead. It'll be better if you don't look. Oh. I'm sorry. They weren't always nice, but they gave me a place to live. I promise. I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. Batman. Oh my God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who was the boy then? My guess is he's another foster child living with the Vales. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not anymore, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. <laughs> Yeah, because Batman's going to care about that. All right. Interesting place to call it. I'm a little confused how we're just kind of walking right past the part where apparently Cobblepot has managed to get into the R&D section of Wayne Enterprises and taken over one of the drones. That feels like a major issue that we need to uh, to deal with. Just saying, feel like there's something to that. But then again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that was more commercially available than I thought it was. Yeah, it still feels like something we need to deal with. Either way, makes for an interesting little twist, so. I'm here for it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll keep the YouTube overlords happy. And if, like me, you're here for this story and want to see where it goes from here, well, subscribe. That way you know when I upload new videos. Till next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.